cool, now I'm going to go and just clean things up and make such Yeah. Better. You know what I mean? Like, or you you're know, just chilling. Yeah. Or just chilling. Yeah. But like and knowing how studio. people work and, and Joe knows that like I have, and, and it's, I laugh about it, but it's true. Like I have a, a, a smaller threshold for in terms of getting burnt out because I just get so stimulated by things. But like Joe doesn't have a problem with that. And like we talk about it all the time and I've told him and, and vice versa too. Like, yo, I need to take a break. I need to take a week off. Or just like, yo, dude, like, I know you guys sent me this session. I have to work on it. I'm not going to get to it until Monday because I just need to, like, step away for a sec. And I think maybe in the – like, it's like a relationship like anything. And I think we talk about this too, like a significant other. Like, in the first year of your relationship, maybe you don't feel as comfortable to tell your significant other, like, hey, when you make these jokes, I don't actually find it that funny or whatever. Yeah. Like, you need to be honest with the other person and tell, like and, – and I feel so fortunate to have a partner that I can tell yeah. him, like – Yo, dude, like it's Friday. Like I'm not gonna get this n- until Monday. I really need to chill this weekend. And and, and he's always cool with it. And it's yeah. like never a problem. Because we, we trust each other that like if there's a deadline, we know we're gonna show up for it. Right? You know what I mean? So and then the yeah. times when there's not a deadline and nothing's crazy, like it, this needs to be done right now, it's like, okay, dude, it, it it's gonna get done. Like, you know what I mean? Like if 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 nobody's pushing us to get it done, like we trust each other that we will get it done eventually, you know? So And I think it's so important yeah. to as creators, like really spend time on your mental health. Like I love, I wish I did it more, but I love meditating. Like Joe runs, I work out, like really invest in yourself as a person. And like, if you're just burning yourself out and just doing music all the, all the time, which is great. I love making music all the time, but if you're not eating right, if you're not like treating yourself right, like you're going to burn out much faster. Yeah. That's a hundred percent true. And I know everyone talks about it, but yeah. I'm going to be the next person to talk about yeah. it. It's important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's important to hear also amidst the the COVID uh, yeah. <laughs> situation. Yeah, it's even easier to burn out in COVID because we're all at home, so there's no excuse. Uh, I am so burnt out. Yeah, man. <laughs> For sure. And you feel guilty <laughs> saying it because you're like, yeah. how could I be? I could. Yeah. All my friends who are not musicians are just watching Netflix. How could? And then you work harder because it's like a mind fuck, right? And then you're like. It is true, though, like, before COVID hit, it's like, okay, I'm going to go see my friend's band playing tonight. So that is going to be three hours out of the day. I'm yeah. not going to be working. I have to be done by nine because I'm going to go see his band or whatever it is. Like, yeah. you don't have that now, right? So it's easy to burn out because you can just keep working. Like, there's nothing to stop you from that because there's no other schedule like, yeah. you know, that, that, that you're kind of abiding by, you know? It, it's interesting, to say the least. <laughs> yeah. One last yeah. thing I would say is a yeah. shout out or tip. Um, a lot of people were probably listening or a lot of people getting into production are mostly working off a laptop. Once you feel comfortable to, and especially if you have an Apollo, uh, most people are having like twins and stuff these days. It's like a pretty popular choice. Start experimenting with the onboard plugins that they have. I was really afraid to do it. You know, like there's like the preamps, like um, stuff like that. But honestly, it's free. And like, just fuck around with it because it's going to make your sound better. Now we both have 1073 like clones from um, BAE. And they're amazing. But like, I remember there was like, it was a big jump. And I don't know if Joe would agree too, where it's like, you kind of get scared to start using analog gear. Yeah. You can see all these gear heads with them, all these walls of gear. And you're like, I don't know if I have the information or know how to do it yet, but just try it. Cause it's going to make your production sound and just understanding how analog gear and compressors and everything work. It's going to make your production better. I think. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess along those lines, I guess uh, you may have answered the question, but I ask everybody this <laughs> yeah, question. Yeah. You know, what's one thing that you either did or didn't do at the beginning of your career that you maybe didn't realize was the right thing to do, or maybe you had wished you had done differently if you know what you know today that you'd maybe want to impart upon the listeners? Good hmm. question. That's a good question. And you can each answer it separately. Yeah, I know, for you sure. Know? Um, <laughs> you, you, you'll have to. If you want, I have something. If you no, want go ahead, go, 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 right. go, go. I would say that knowing that you don't always need to be the, and this is, this is something that I've learned from just being again in a partnership. I think there's so many valuable things that if you couldn't tell, we both love being in this partnership. Yeah, it's great. So, but if there was like, um, you know, I think one of the things I've learned from just working with Joe is like, you don't always have to be the one you don't always have to be right. You don't always have to be the one who comes up with a hundred percent of the idea. I even like, cause we get big sessions, you know, and, and I, and I won't lie. I get nervous about it, but mm-hmm. I think one of the things is I always felt like I had to be the person I had to come up with the hook line. I had to come up with the melody. I had to come up with the guitar part. I had to do the production. Even when I wasn't producing, I had to come up with the ideas, but as long as you go in and you're a nice person, you're respectful and you bring value and value can come in all shapes and sizes. Just pr- proposing the I- Joe and I went to a writing camp and we were talking about like denim jackets and that became the name of the song. That's value right there. Like you just brought value to the session by sparking the conversation that led to the song title. I think as long as you just bring value, like you're going to be an amazing person and you're going to do good things and you don't have to put this gun to your head of like, I need to be the, I need to be the best. And, and do everything in this entire session, you know? Yeah. Actually, a good, a good, uh, a good Kenny Beats quote. Again, I'm coming back to Kenny Beats. Kenny so Beats is the go. so inspiring. But he was like, yeah. nobody's patting you in the back, but 
by doing everything yourself. Yep. Nobody cares. They only care if the song's dope. If the song's not dope, doesn't matter. If if nobody else likes it, doesn't matter if you did it all by yourself. Even if you did it all by yourself, could it be better? You won't ever know. Like, yeah. you, nobody's patting you in the back for that. And so, there's so no shame for doing it. less if yeah. it helped and you were a part of it. Yeah. Like, because not, like, yo, there's a song that we just worked on right now that Joe and I are very excited about. And uh, we and we were the producers and co-writers on it, but then now an artist maybe wants to take it and they may not want our production on it. Like being cool with like, yo, we provided value and we had a vibe in the room and we did help co-write that song. We don't need to be the sole producers. That can be an ego blow to a lot of people. It's like mm-hmm. they don't want our production, but it's like I, we, we talked about it afterwards. I look at it like, yo, now we can use that production for someone else. Like that there's value. Like it's, yeah, it's always like there's always opportunities and wins and you don't need to do yeah. everything yourself. So. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's like a maturity thing. Like, yeah. You Which know, is hard. The more you do it, the less ego you you have. Yeah, for sure. I would say I don't know. That was a good for piece sure. of advice you gave, though. Shit, I gotta beat that one now. Right? Who me? Yeah, that was good. I, I would. Well, say, you kind of expounded on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. What'd you okay. say? <laughs> I would. He kind of expounded on it, so it's yeah, it's kind no, of that was like, good. Sorry. I mean, I, what I was going to say was like I don't really like regret anything that I've done in the past because it's got me to where I am now and making music for a living. So there's not really anything to regret, even if there's things I would have done maybe faster or better. My main thing would be just like especially when I was younger, I just didn't trust my gut enough. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? And now I've grown yeah. up and I've learned how to trust my gut. If something doesn't feel right, it's not right. Cre- and I don't never, mean that. It's and that's, never right And that's not just creatively. It. I mean, in business, in yep. partnerships, in, in anything you're doing in this industry, just trust your gut. I, I when I was younger, I mean, just starting in bands and just starting to songwriter and produce, I got in a lot of situations because I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't trust my gut. I'm like, oh well, this person is, they have X credit, so like I have, like they, it must be correct. Like I have to work with them, and I should have trusted my gut, saying this isn't right. So I would say just trust your gut. And I learned that a lot when I moved out here with Steve. I would watch how he operated, mm. and I'm like, man, this dude is just not even thinking about it. He's just going with what he feels today, and and not from an emotional place, like he's making bad decisions. He just knows the business and the industry so well that he's like, I already, I already, I'm going to trust myself in this one. I already know it. Like, you yeah. know, he's, he's not second guessing a lot of those, of those, of those decisions. So I would say that, that that took me longer than I wanted to learn, but I'm glad I learned it now. So that would be my piece yeah. of advice for sure. Love it. Yeah. Well, uh, Zach and Joey, this has been super, really super fun conversation and eye opening, and I learned a lot and uh, I just had a blast chatting with both awesome, of you. Man. Thank so, you for thank having you so us. much for your, dude, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for your time and thanks for sharing your wisdom with the audience. And uh, I hope to stay in touch with yeah, you guys. This yeah. is great. Thank you, man. Thank this you. is awesome. Awesome. Stay safe out there. Yeah. And we'll be in touch. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Secret Sonics. I hope you enjoyed my conversation with Joey and Zach as much as I did. If you enjoyed this episode or any of our other episodes, I'd super appreciate it if you would go to Apple Podcasts and leave us a rating and review. It really helps the show. And if you could share this episode or your favorite episode with a friend or two, that would also really help the show move forward. In addition to that, you can find us on social media. Just search for Secret Sonics. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. And you can email me at secretsonics at gmail.com if you have any comments, feedback, guests you might want to recommend, anything like that. So that's about it for now. Uh, Until next time, I hope you guys have a great week. Stay safe out there and dig in. Bye-bye.